Today, we celebrate a speech given by famous reporter Dan Rather at the American Geophysical Union Conference in New Orleans. He spoke of science and science communication as being under siege, and that we must all unite to have the truth come out. Ooh, that sounds good. Science is the process of having questions, developing experimentation, and delivering the findings in ways that reflect vigor and dedication to answering the questions with integrity. Yes, science! Communities of geoscientists dedicated to sharing research and ideas meet every year at the American Geophysical Union Conference. If last year's meeting was any measure of how many people there were at this year's meeting, we're talking about 24,000 undergraduates, postdocs, graduate students, teachers, research scientists, lab managers, and even the general public. You could have been there too. Maybe you did go. The conveners of this year's conference in New Orleans nailed down Dan Rather as keynote speaker. Oh yeah, Dan. Dan. Dan Dan's in command. Dan, Dan rather, Dan, Dan the videographer. Hi. Dan. Celebrated journalist Danny, uh, Danny, Danny boy. Danny has seen it all. For the past 50 years, he's covered like wars, science, politics, and even more. Like seriously, this guy's got a unique perspective on our world for sure. His talk in its entirety can be found on the American Geophysical Union Facebook page. And EOS The Journal summarizes it in Dan Rather's vision for scientists in an era of fake news. You should check out those articles, but here's what we gather. He spoke of modern climate change in part being caused by humans and that we can take action to reduce future impacts, but will we? Nice call to action, Danny. A little dangling hook for us. Now is the time to produce robust science. Science that tells us about the world around us and that intersects with the public. What's cool is that he united his experiences as a journalist with those of the scientists in the audience. What must we do in a time when both professions with members who take pride in the accuracy of their work are placed into questionable light by our presidential administration, namely through the citing of fake news and the political inaction on climate change. He sounded dismayed, and I feel like his thoughts were well captured in one comment. Are we going to guide our futures by science, reason, and knowledge? Or are we going to succumb to superstition, ignorance, and propaganda? There you go, Dan, that's my best imitation. Sorry. He posits why this might be happening. Coordinated attacks by those who have interests outside of scientific findings. He then pushes on to say that some people with money are steering what's in the spotlight, hiding truths that we should demand and need to know. Wow, Danny, impressive for 86. You are on fire. He then spoke about all of us rising up against anti-intellectual forces. Where is our curiosity? Find it, grow it, share it. Science. I kind of like it. It is then up to storytellers to build a community of people who appreciate science. The scientific process. So that's Danny's call to action. And this stirred up thoughts in us here at Breaking Science. From my perspective, we have the right, possess the ability, and deserve to understand our world through experience and experimentation. And if anybody tries to block this, that's undermining our choices. It makes sense to learn how we impact Earth and make wise decisions with our best interests in mind. Thanks for joining us on this episode. Head on over to YouTube or Facebook. Give us a like, follow us, leave a comment, and join us on our next show.